next on Campus News, we tell you why everybody was wearing gold. We show you Grandparents Day. And we show you the most recent use of the month ceremony. All of this and much more coming up on Campus News, Laredo's best and only news for students. Hello and thank you for joining LISD's very own student newscast, the only newscast that offers the most in school and community coverage for students. I'm Gael Vega. And I'm Siri Castillo from McDonald Elementary School. Here's our top story. The month of September was recently proclaimed as Childhood Cancer Awareness Month in Webb County. And in order to participate in this awareness, a walk was held at Milton Elementary School. This was in order to show their support for one of their students who's, who is battling childhood cancer. Flor Diaz is the principal at Milton Elementary School. She tells us more about this childhood cancer awareness walk. Today's event uh, is um, our cancer awareness walk uh, in honor of our very own student, Christian Ramos, who is suffering cancer at this moment. And it's an awareness walk and support of all stu students, children that have uh, cancer. Our Webb County Judge Dano Tijerina also participated in this walk. Many schoolmates carried signs and wore shirts to show their support for Christian during his battle with cancer. Deborah Cipriano is the mother of Christian Ramos. She tells us about her son's school and treatment schedule. Um, this year he started, they let him attend school, so he's, we, we, he's enrolled with his brothers at C.L. Milton. And, um, but he's, he's going to school and battling cancer, so tomorrow he admits for, you know, treatment, and we come back the week after and he goes back to school. So this is what we have right now, going to treatment and coming back to school. As long as, you know, we are able to do it and he is good enough to do it since he is stable right now, we're going to keep doing it because we're giving him back that little bit of childhood that cancer has already taken away from him the past couple of years. At the end of the awareness walk at Milton, everybody released some gold balloons into the sky. This was a great event that was held over at Milton Elementary School. Earlier this month, the Nixon High School students and staff held a remembrance ceremony for 9-11. They all gathered in the school's courtyard to listen to some special speakers. The speakers told everybody about how important it is to remember September 11th. Several first responders from Laredo were also invited to be a part of this special ceremony. They were there so they could be thanked for the great work that they do every day. At the end of the event, one of the band members played taps to honor all of the victims. This was a great event that was held at Nixon High School. The voter registration drives at LISD continued to take place throughout September. This time the registration drive took place at the early college high school. The Vidal M. Trevino Magnet School is spearheading these voter registration drives. Dr. Marta Villarreal is the principal at the VMT Magnet School. She tell us more about this event at the Early College High School. We are very happy to be at Early College, uh, getting our seniors registered to vote this year. Uh, for VMT, this is an annual uh, event. We go to all the high schools, and this year in particular, it is a very, very important election year, and so we want to make sure that we get all our seniors uh, registered to vote. She also tell us about the importance of voting. It's important for everybody in the community to express their voice. Like the sign says, your voice is your vote. Please make sure that you vote this election year. And if you know of anybody 
that needs to register, VMT will be registering from now until October the 11th. Drop by, we'll be glad to register you. This was a great event that was held at the early college high school. And as Dr. Villarreal said, make sure you are registered to vote. You have fun to October 11th so you can participate in this year's general election. Farias Elementary recently held a great event. They all gathered inside of the school's gym to kick off the Accelerator Reader program for this year. The school put together an Olympic team for this celebration. They had the students walking with Olympic rings as the other students cheered them on. San Juana Garza is the principal at Farias Elementary School. She tell us what the ring stands for. Today we're celebrating our Farias Olympics AR contest. Today we have Farias representing all of the five ranks with the five grade levels to start our kickoff of the AR. Also they perform the ceremonial lighting of the torch with one of the great students. At the end of the event, some great music was played to get the students excited for Accelerated Reader. Many of the students even decided to show their great dance move. This was an excellent event that was held at Farias Elementary School. Tarver Elementary School recently welcomed some very special visitors to its school. Grandmas and grandpas were invited to the school so they could spend some very special bonding time with their grandchildren. This was done to celebrate Grandparents' Day at the school. The event was held in the school's cafeteria. There the students were able to do some arts and crafts with their grandparents. Third grade teacher Griselda Sandoval tells us a bit more about this event. We're here today celebrating Grandparents Day. Our grandparents play a vital role in our students' um, education and in their lives. So we just wanted to thank them, show them that we appreciate them, and that we're happy that they support their grandchild's education. So many grandparents showed up that they made some space in the school's gym to accommodate some of them. This was a great event that was held at Tarver Elementary School. J.C. Martin Elementary School recently held a great event at their school. Students and staff gathered at the school's library to receive a very special gift. 250 books were donated to the library of J.C. Martin Elementary School. These books were donated by KGNS TV, ABC, and Disney. Jerry Garza and Richard Noriega from KGNS were at this event to present the books to the students. They spoke to students and told them that they were not only giving them the gifts of books, but more importantly, the gift of reading. Also. They took the time to read one of the books to the students. Our school board president, Dr. Cecilia May Moreno, was also at this event. She was there on behalf of the board of trustees to say thanks for this very generous donation. Thelma Alanis Ramos is the school principal at J.C. Martin Elementary. She has a message she would like to share with us. I'm very thankful to KGNS, ABC, and Disney for donating library books to our library. It gives our children opportunity to read and to travel around the world through reading. This was a great event that was held over at J.C. Martin Elementary School. Martin High School recently held a very fun and exciting pep rally at their school. The pep rally was held inside of the school gym and it was to get the team excited for their football game. The Martin High School band of the animal was there to play the alma mater and the school fight song. Mima Pro is the principal of Martin High School. He told the students that it's very important to go to the football games to show their support of the students' athletes. Also, the Martin High School cheerleaders and dance team put on some great performance for those in attendance. This was a great pep rally that was held for all of the Martin Tigers. We would like to wish the football team a lot of success during this football season. When we return, our co-anchors Gia and Ariana will continue bringing you the news. Stay tuned. The Laredo Independent School District would like to remind you of an important safety procedure that all school visitors must follow. If you drove to the school, you must park in one of the designated visitor parking spots that are located at the front of the school. Walk to the front door entrance and press the call button. 
the front office staff will assist you through the speakerphone. Good morning, how can I help you? Good morning, ma'am. I need to pick up my son. Can I see your ID, please? Yes, ma'am. You will be asked to show your identification card to the camera before being allowed into the school. Please make your way to the front reception area and present your identification to the receptionist. They will assist you with the reason for your visit. Important things you must remember. Do not park in any fire lane area. Never use any side or back entrance doors. Bring your identification with you to the school. These visitor procedures are in place in order to create a safe learning and working environment for all of our students and employees. If you have any questions about the proper visitor procedures, please contact your child's school. Voting in our local, state, and national elections is not only a privilege, but a responsibility as citizens of this great country. But in order to cast your ballot, you must first be registered to vote. You can do this by participating in one of the many voter registration drives at LISD schools throughout the month of September. Voter registration deadline is October 11th, so Laredo ISD encourages you to register and vote in this year's local, state, and national elections. Welcome back to the show. I'm Jared Thies. I'm, and I'm Mariana Gladio, also from McDonough Elementary School. We will continue bringing you the news. The VMT Magnet School held a beautiful ceremony in honor of Patriot Day. Patriot Day is held in honor of all the first responders that risked their lives to help the victims of September 11th. The event began with the students of the VMT Magnet School performing a beautiful rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. Douglas Alford, who is a veteran of the Navy, was invited to be the guest speaker of this event. He told the students that it is important to recognize first responders as the heroes of our community. Many first responders from across Laredo were invited to this event so that they could be thanked for the work that they do. As part of this event, the VMT Brass Ensemble provides some great music for those in attendance. This is a great event that was held at the VMT Magnet School. The VMT Magnet School also held another important celebration at their campus. Students and staff came together to celebrate the DS the 6th of September. This event was held at the auditorium of this beautiful campus. There, the audience got to witness some great performances by the talented students of the VMT Magnet School. There was dancing, music, and even a solo dance performed by one of the students, Gregorio Garza. Junior is a retired VMT teacher. He tells us more about the celebration. This celebration is about the Mexican Independence Day and also to kick off National Hispanic Heritage Month activities that begin on September the 15th and end in October the 15th by presidential proclamation. As part of this event, the students also participated in the traditional Mexican grito where they yelled Viva Mexico. This was a great celebration that was held at the VMT Magnet School. The Corton Schools program recently visited another one of our schools. This time they went to our very own LAD Academy, and the judge that led this program was Judge Becky Paloma. Becky Paloma is a judge in the 341st District Court. This program brings a real-life court proceeding to the school. What the students saw on this day was a sentencing phrase of the child. Robert Cheney is a principal of LAD Academy. He tells us how this event will help the students at the LAD Academy. To me, it opens their eyes that when they see somebody sentenced and they take them out in handcuffs, that they're gone, they're going to jail. And I think that that puts a real world's perspective on what, what they're seeing and the choices that they're making could lead for them to go to prison. This was a great event for the students at the Lara Academy. A very important meeting was recently held at the Laredo Independent School District. This meeting was to inform parents how they could be involved in the children's education. This used to be called the Parental Involvement Program, but will now be known as the Parental Family Engagement Program. Carlos René Ramirez is a new lead parent liaison at the LISD. He tells us more about this meeting. Today we're hosting the Title I consultation meeting. This is an annual thing that we do. And parents throughout the whole district from all different campuses, they come in to listen to what the requirements are, especially now, since we have a new act to follow with the signing of December 10th, 2015 of the Every Student Succeed Act, 
which replaces the No Child Left Behind Act. So we're excited about the whole things that are happening right now, and we are so grateful to the parents for coming in because they are the voice of their children. They are the ones that we are a partnership with because our school district is always open to all the parents who are willing to be empowered and, and continue working together for the success of our children. LIZ would like to thank all of the parents that decided to volunteer their time as a parent volunteer. If you would like to see how you can help volunteer, please contact your child's school. The first Youth of the Month ceremony for this school year was recently held. This event took place at John B. Alexander High School. This event is put together by the United States Border Patrol. They select one outstanding student from each Laredo High School and honor them as the Youth of the Month. The students from LISD who were selected this month was Jezere Nicole Arias from Cigarroga High School, Melissa Bustamante from Nixon High School, Yahaira Ramirez from Early College High School, and Josue Vela from Marlin High School. The students, families, and educators were there to help them celebrate this achievement. Our executive director from Student Services, Maggie Martinez, was also at this event to congratulate the students. We would also like to send some big congratulations to all these students for having been selected as Youth of the Month. The student staff at Dakey's Elementary School recently celebrated Deaf Awareness Week. They did this by gathering inside the main lobby of the school to learn how to sign a few words that they were being taught by the students themselves. Carmela Torrino is a teacher for the hearing impaired students at Dikes. She tells us why it's important for the community to learn sign language. It's important for the uh, community le to learn how to communicate with our students uh, because they're out, you know, they're um, out in the community, going to Peter Piper's, going to the movies, going to different places, and they uh, can have uh, people to communicate with. She also tells us about the sign language classes that are offered at Daiki's Elementary School. Anybody that is not hearing impaired, um, it's uh, very easy to learn sign language. Uh, you can learn it uh, by coming to the classes that we're offering here at Daiki's on Wednesdays. They start on next Wednesday, September the 28th at 5.30. They come to, come to the classes, join us. Anybody can come. They're free classes and they're open to the community. Uh, but especially we want to invite the parents and the family members of our students. So if you want to learn sign language, please contact Dikes Elementary School at 273-3200. DD Altra Elementary recently held their very fun annual event at their school. Many students and their staff gathered inside the, sc the school's gym and celebrated the beginning of the Fresh Roots and Vegetables program. The new principal of that school, Cynthia Villarreal Gonzalez, spoke to the students. She told them about the importance of eating their school breakfast and lunch. Robert Cuello Jr. is the director of the Child Nutrition Program at the LISD. He tells us a little bit more about this event. This morning we're having our sixth annual Fresh Fruit and Vegetable kickoff in collaboration with Didia Char Elementary. The Child Nutrition Program is going to have this event as we do every year. Uh, to uh, not only uh, let the students know about the importance of eating a fresh fruit or vegetable, but also learning about different ones. The fresh fruit and vegetable program will be going on throughout the entire school year. Mr. Coya tells us how this program will be implemented. Throughout the school year, we're going to be offering some exotic fruits, some vegetables that uh, they're going to get exposed to and learn about their origins and also taste them. As part of this event, staff members dress up as fruit or a vegetable. There was also a red carpet where students dress up as a celebrity fruit or vegetable. Also, students took a pledge where they said they would eat one more fruit or vegetable every day. This was a great event that was held over at D.D. Hachar Elementary School. That was up this edition of Campus News. I'm Mariana Claudio. And I'm Jared Thies. Don't forget to tune in next time. Until then, remember that at LISD, we have excellence in every student, every day. See you next time.
Voting in our local, state, and national elections is not only a privilege, but a responsibility as citizens of this great country. But in order to cast your ballot, you must first be registered to vote. You can do this by participating in one of the many voter registration drives at LISD schools throughout the month of September. Voter registration deadline is October 11th, so Laredo ISD encourages you to register and vote in this year's local, state, and national elections. My grandfather, Carlos Carranco Sr., was born in 1925. Uh, he was born in Laredo to a fairly impoverished family, to a father who was an orphan, and um, they grew up particularly poor. In 1944, at the age of 19, he was drafted into the army. Two years previously, he went to Europe, originally supposed to be a typist, but then he was trained as a combat infantryman at Camp Shelby, Mississippi in 1944. And when he arrived in Europe in uh, November of 44, the Battle of the Bulge was about to begin. He landed, in he landed on Europe proper uh, and got to the front lines shortly after the battle finished. He served, uh, he served with the 69th Division and they crossed the Rhine and fought in the Rhineland and in Central Europe. He was with one of the original groups of men who met the Russians on the Elbe in 1945. When the war was finished, thinking they were going to go home, they were actually kept there as an occupational army with the, uh, and he was stationed in the area around uh, Stuttgart and Heidelberg from 1945 until May 1946, when he was given his uh, discharge papers. I was my company commander's runner and uh, his bodyguard also shot expert in the, with a M1 rifle. <laughs> Everybody was happy when the war ended because we thought we were going home. But Uncle Sam had other ideas for us. I was a young man and uh, I saw Dick Kleindecker in, uh, in, in Germany. I remember going to uh, Grandparents Day with you and we ran into Mr. Leindecker and he was saying that uh, you, helped liberate, and you helped liberate him from the prisoner of war camp in Germany in uh, I guess in 45 when everyone else was being liberated. My grandfather has a degree from Texas A&I, a bachelor's degree in history, and he also has a master's degree from Texas A&M, which, uh, of course, back in the 60s, when he got it, having a master's degree was not the norm like it is today. He chose to go into elementary education because, based off the advice of a friend, he said that, uh, he said that we don't need high school teachers, we need elementary school teachers the baby boom is going to begin and you will be on the front lines of that one too. So after he got his degree and with his combat experience he was, uh, he was assigned to be the principal and was a principal primarily at two schools throughout his 40-year career with uh, Laredo Independent School District with Don Tomas Sanchez and with Santo Nino. There are both challenges he's willing to take and he, and he took them on with pleasure and with happiness in a way that few people could. I always tell my students to stay in school and whatever, whatever it is, don't give it up. You study and learn so that you can pass that information to your future children. 
exemplifies the greatest generation in the way that few people can. And having endured the hardships of the Depression, the terror and horror of war, and coming back to a quiet life in the States where he was able to educate a generation of Laredo ones that give us, the uh, give us the successful Laredo that we know today. Oh. 